Uh, in this problem, a motorcyclist will start or a motorcycle starts out from rest at a stop sign and accelerates at a constant rate at 20 meters per second squared. Uh, how long will it take the motorcycle to go 300 meters? So we know that uh, the acceleration is defined as 20 meters per second squared. We know it starts out from a stop, so its initial speed is 0 meters per second. Uh, we'll say it starts at some location that we'll call an origin, so its initial location is 0. And we know that it travels 300 meters, which is not the time, this is the displacement. So if we write or the delta x to be consistent. So the x that it travels through, or the displacement that it experiences, is going to be uh, equivalent to, let's try that again, the displacement that it experiences, the x is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. Since we start off at rest, this term goes away. Any, if v is zero, zero times any time is going to be zero, and it will leave us with an equation that is x equals one half a t squared. We're going to manipulate this to solve this equation for time. And time is squared. And t squared has, is multiplied by a and divided by 2. That's the same as multiplying by 1 half. So let's get rid of a. If we want to get rid of a, the opposite of multiplying by a is dividing by a. So a will cancel. And now t squared is divided by 2. The opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2, and that will cancel. So we'll rewrite t squared is equal to 2 times x, which is the displacement, divided by a. And the way you unsquare something is to take the square root of that. So the square root of t squared is t. If I take the square root of one side, I'll take the square root of the other. And again, that will leave me with t. And the time required for this displacement based on that acceleration will be equal to 2 times 300 meters divided by the acceleration. That's 20 meters per second squared. 2 times 300 is 600 divided by 20. Take the square root of that. But most important, let's take a look at the units. What are the units going to work out if we end up with the square root of meters, I'll just say meters over 1, times, or excuse me, divided by meters per second squared. So when I do this, I'm going to simplify what's under the radical. I'll get meters over 1 times the reciprocal of what's in the denominator, meters over second squared. The reciprocal of that is second squared over meters cancel the meters and I get set the square root of second squared everything under the radical which are seconds so it works out time is measured in seconds we have to end up with units of seconds if we reveal the answer which is going to be the square root of 2 times 300 divided by 20 our time is and you can see the math there so it's consistent 2 times 300 divided by 20 is 5.5 seconds very nice